Hey guys, what's up? This is Derek with OMG, it's Derek.com, and in today's tutorial, we are talking about how to make your webcam look a hell of a lot better for your live stream. All right, roll the intro, and then let's jump into this thing. All right, guys, so there are a lot of videos out on YouTube on how you can make your webcam look a lot better when you're live streaming gameplay. We're just gonna dive in and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. My method has come through a lot of research just on how to make my webcam better for my live stream. And so I just thought I would kind of take all that information I gathered from tens of twenties of thirties of videos, combine all that and produce this. None of these tips are really my own. I've gotten them from other streamers over the years. Unfortunately, they all come from different and I don't remember from who, so I can't credit them. Nonetheless, let's jump into it. So I'm using a Logitech C920, which I believe is the most popular webcam uh, for live streamers and honestly is the best value for your buck. I think you can get it for less than $50 now. This will be using the Logitech C920. You can use any webcam you want, although the settings might be slightly different the overall theory behind it should be the same. So the first thing we want to do is in your OBS, whether you're using Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio or any other version, it should be the same. But the first thing you want to do is have your, you know, scenes and sources set up and have a webcam in your sources. Once that is in your sources, what we're going to do is right click on your webcam. Well, first you got to left click it. So you got to make sure you have it selected. Then you want to right click on your webcam and go to properties. And the first settings we are going to change are actually the settings for the actual device. And the way that we do that is once we go to this, we're going to click on configure video. Once we configure video, your webcam uh, settings properties should pop up for the Logitech, again, C920. This is what it looks like. And the first thing you want to do is unselect right sound and unselect autofocus. You'll want to set your focus manually, as you can see, as whatever works best for you. Typically, if you want everything in focus, everything in the front, everything behind you, yada, 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 just drag it all the way over to the landscape icon, and that'll work best for you. Once then, after that, you're going to go to advanced settings. You're going to want to unselect right light if it's selected. You're also going to want to unselect the auto gain and the auto white balance. We wanna set all of these manually. That's gonna give you the best options and give you the best quality. Once we do that, you can kinda of see here your exposure. Well, first, before you adjust your exposure, you wanna turn your gain all the way down. Your gain is kinda of like adjusting the ISO on a digital SLR camera, um, in that the higher you turn this up, the more light that the webcam receives, however, at the expense of quality. So having this turned all the way down is gonna give you the best pick, the best possible quality from your webcam. Once you have that turned all the way down, you can adjust your exposure to bring it up to the right lighting for yourself. So I have mine about halfway, about right there. And then again, you can, um, and then we'll leave everything else alone here in terms of brightness, contrast, or color intensity. You'll see a lot of other YouTube videos have you adjust the contrast contrast and stuff here in the settings. However, I like to do that through using filters in OBS because once I have these webcam properties set, I never wanna have to come in here and change anything because I don't wanna mess anything up. We're gonna leave these all default here and then the white balance, we will adjust ourselves instead of allowing it to do auto. Auto typically does a little bit better of a job the reason though that we want to do it ourselves is that we want to sacrifice that little bit of a better job in frame rate. For some reason, when you have auto checked here under white balance, it can mess up the frame rate of the camera and you won't always achieve the frame rate that you're desiring to match your stream. And sometimes it can even start dropping frames. We want to, like I said, not do this auto and set it manually. 
And the best way is just to kind of set it to whatever you think the best setting is for white balance. Whatever looks the most natural. That's that's the goal right now when you're just starting with the webcam properties is getting the most natural look. We don't want to add any extra color here. We don't want to do anything. We just want the most natural look. I know I just said that like three times, but that's because I want to stress to you that at this point, you want the most natural look look once you have those set we're just going to hit save which saves everything and then we have a couple settings here in obs that we want to change on the screen and that is for the resolution fps type when you first add it it's set to device default which does not give you the highest resolution meaning you do not get the best quality so we want to change that to custom we want to set our resolution to 1920 by 1080p the FPS, we want to just match the output FPS. Video format, we're going to leave it any, which is the default. The YUV color space is set to default. We want to change this to 709 and the color range from partial, which is the default, to full. This just gives you the widest range of the color spectrum for your webcam, which gives you the best colors. Once we have those set, we're just going to hit done here. And again, you should have something that resembles a pretty natural look and feel. Once we have all that set, this is where we're gonna start playing with some of the colors and stuff. And again, some, some YouTube tutorials have you do that within these webcam properties under the configure video here again. Instead, I like to use filters in OBS. So we're gonna right click and go to filters. Let me just slide this out of the way a bit. Once you have that select, you can see here on the left side that I have some filters already added. You would want to, yours will be blank when you first add this, so you'll wanna click this plus icon and add whatever filters you need out of the list here. The filters I'm using are chroma key because I use a green screen. If you don't have a green screen, instead what you're gonna to wanna to do is use this crop pad filter. The crop pad filter will basically take all the excess information you now have from your webcam being in widescreen and get rid of that. So I'm gonna turn that on here just so you can kind of see that. And you can see now that I cropped in the left by 200, the right by 200, and the top by 50. This gives me more of a square look as you can kind of see here in the window. Let me turn one off just to show you. If we set that back to zero, you see the left side gets extended out. If I take the right to zero, you see the right gets extended out and the top to zero, you see the top gets extended out, which gives that more widescreen look. You don't need all this extra information if you're live streaming and you don't have a green screen. So you wanna get rid of it as much as you can and the best way to do this is with the crop pad filter. Again, you will just adjust the numbers to your settings to kind of give you a more zoomed in look without actually zooming in your webcam with a digital zoom which would then give you less quality. If you have a green screen, you're just gonna use the chroma key and you'll actually want to leave a crop pad off because you want as much information as you can have so that when you're in your normal, let me show you guys here real quick, setting, you have more space to move around before you're getting cut off any body part. Again, if you have a green screen, you're gonna to wanna to use chroma key. If you don't have a green screen, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and use the crop slash pad filter. So we have chroma key, so I'm gonna leave that on and leave the crop pad turned off, but hopefully that explains that. The next filter we're gonna add, want to add is color correction. This is what's gonna make your webcam pop a little more. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. You're gonna notice the difference instantly. As you can see, it brought some color and stuff into my face, into my lips. It made the black chair a little. Here, let me move out of the way of the black chair. It might be easier this way, it is. All right. So let me remove it so you can see the chair in the background. Let me re-add it. You can kind of see in my tattoo arm here, let me see the color in my arm and stuff, some more of the detail in the darker areas kind of appear. And that's, that's adjusted with your contrast and your saturation. By default, let me turn these back down to zero. You can see it looks like this. So you want to just, you don't want to go overboard. So I had 0.15 in the contrast, which you can see, you just saw the chair shift there. If you go overboard, it's going to start looking kind of like this, which is kind of a cartoonish -y look. So we're going to go back down to 0.15. That's what I like for my setup with the lighting I have, things like that. And the saturation, again, if you go too high, it's going to add way too much color and you're going to look like Donald Trump. 
I like just point 0.1. Again, you're just adding a little bit of color here. So we're gonna go with that. Actually, I think I had point 0.2 here, I believe. So we're at point 0.2, point 0.25. Again, you're just adjusting these to the look you like. That's a little bit too much for me. Let me go back down to point 0.15. I kind of like that. And the last thing is your gamma. I like to turn the gamma down just a bit which gives you kind of a little more detail in the shadows and stuff and just helps not everything be blown out. So I believe I had this set at 0.25, so I will take that back there. Those are really the only three you have to adjust in this color correction filter. And again, it's honestly, this part comes to more of a personal taste type thing. You don't wanna go overboard or it looks too fake and stuff, you just wanna add a little color, but how much color or not how much color you add is kinda on what you like, honestly. Um, and then the last filter that I like to add is a sharpen filter. And this just kinda cleans up everything a little bit. I don't like a lot of this, so mine's not turned up very high. Zero is the default, I have 0.1. So just to kind of, let me turn to the side profile here so that as I hit this, you can kind of see it in my beard and stuff. That's mostly where I think you're gonna see it on mine. But let me hit it here. And it just adds, turned it back off. Again, it's very subtle, but let me turn it on and let me increase just a bit. Like a 0.25. You see, it just gives you a little bit of sharpness. So actually, I think I will turn mine up to 0.2 and leave it there. But it just, it sharpens everything just a touch. Again, you don't wanna go overboard on this. If you do, everything starts to look kinda fakish. It's hard to explain, but but again, it's just something you wanna mess with with your lighting conditions and stuff just to get kind of the, you know, what looks good for you, honestly. And then that's it. That's gonna give you a lot better. And just to kinda show you, let me uh, once again turn off all these filters. And I'll leave the green screen on this time and use the crop pad just to show you the difference. Um, but I'm gonna turn on them one by one, starting with the crop pad through sharpen, just so you can kind of see the before and the after. So crop pad, color, sharpen. Makes it look a lot better, right? All right, turn off crop pad, chroma key, boom, we're done. And then you'll just resize your camera back to whatever you want it resize to. Right there looks good to me. And that's it, you guys are done. That's in OBS, that's to get the best. There are a couple other things you can do to get a little bit uh, higher quality. You know, number one, if you like the green screen look, getting a green screen, in my opinion, is always a good idea. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. If you're not using a green screen, making sure you have a clean background with maybe some different colored lights to accent the scene kinda, something like that could help you. Uh, just look a little more professional and stuff. But the biggest thing is having external lights. So I currently use, I have two separate soft boxes, one in each corner of my room here that are facing on me that gives me more light. The more light you have shining on you, the better quality you're gonna get from your webcam. Webcams have an extremely small image sensor. The more light, the better the light, the better quality you're gonna get. If you don't have any lights, you can get some really cheap on Amazon, just some, I mean, even a cheap light is gonna do way more for the quality of your webcam and your stream um, than, than upgrade into a better camera to start. A cheap light will do wonders. If you cannot afford a light, what I started with, the next best option, is getting daylight bulbs for your uh, your overhead lights and getting the highest wattage you can, 100 watt bulbs for your lights. You know, if, if you have a light that has multiple lights in it, having two or three 100 watt daylight bulbs in there really helped me out in the beginning. So light makes a huge, huge difference in the quality of your webcam. All right, guys, that's it. I hope this video helped you out. I hope it makes your webcam look better. If you have any questions at all or something's not quite working for you, as always, leave a comment below. I'm always happy to help. It is my pleasure and I love doing it. Love helping you guys out. Last but not least, let me just uh, plug a little bit my, li my live stream. Uh, if you wanna check me out and uh, my live stream, you can do that by going to omgitsderek.tv. OMG, it's Derek.tv. Type that in. It'll take you right to my Twitch page where you can check out me when I live stream. Thanks so much. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out more than you could possibly know. It means the world to me. If you like tips like this, if they help you out, I got plenty more on the channel. I also released plenty. So make sure you hit the big subscribe button below. 
And until next time, peace out, everybody. Uh -huh.